Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cole with Bone Crusher. I haven't uh, made a how-to video in a while, so I decided, you know, I'd go ahead and do this. Um, the problem that I had whenever I got my new internet, um, my, my new internet company, um, or no, I've, I've had the same internet company, my bad, but I had a internet upgrade from a 15 down, 0.8 up to a 40 down and 4, uh, 4 up. And one of the main issues that I noticed is that um, the new modem that they gave us had a, uh, had a firewall system that uh, didn't allow my NAT type to be open. So that's what I'm going to try to uh, help you guys out with today is how I got my NAT type to be open. And as you can see on uh, my Black Ops 3, uh, I mean, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's uh, NAT type open. Um, I don't know if you saw it that well, I'm sorry. But I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a how-to tutorial on how to uh, get your NAT type to be open on a Zyxel modem if you have a Zyxel modem or a Zyxel router. Most of the time, routers, what they'll, do, uh, what they'll have on default is they'll have a firewall system. And most of the time, that'll prevent you from having an open NAT type. Um, I tried the whole uh, the whole put my uh, router or put my PS4 in a DMZ. I've tried the whole change my static IP. I've tried all that. It helped out as far as connection goes, like a, like a, like how fast my connection is to the router and to the internet kind of deal, like how quick my bulls register, so on and so forth. I can I can rant about it all day, like how they help you, but they don't actually 100% fix your NAT type all the time. So if you have a um, if you have like a Zyxel uh, router or a Zyxel modem, this is a review that will help you out. If you guys have any other routers or modems, I don't know 100% what to tell you on how on how to fix that. But what I can tell you for uh, for Zyxel owners, what you're gonna do on your um, and, and this is a mobile review by the way. Everybody does website reviews on the computer, and this is a 2016 version, not 2015, 2014, 2013, so on and so forth. This is brand new. I felt I feel like this is what YouTube needed was was a Zyxel uh, review. On mobile, especially because not everybody does mobile reviews. So what you're gonna do when when you if you have an iPhone or if you or if you have an Android, what you're gonna do you're gonna type in 192.168.1.1 in your browser. And again, that is 192.168.1.1. And what that is gonna do is gonna bring you up to your um your Zyxel um your sign in page. It's gonna say uh, Zyxel, welcome, this is Zyxel, uh, so on and so forth, that's your modem, uh, web configurator. Please enter username and password to log in. The username is admin, and the password on default is 123. If your parents or, or you yourself changed the password uh, when you got your new modem, uh, that would be your username and password. I, I'm not sure how to do the whole, like if you've changed your password, I don't know how to do that. But on default, if you have not changed your modem's uh, settings when your internet your ISP set up your router it's gonna be admin as the username and password is one two three four and the next thing that you're gonna do after I log in myself admin and then I'm gonna go one two three four we're gonna go log in and what we're gonna do is we're gonna on the mobile website it's gonna have um, my Wi-Fi slow upstairs um, on the, on the mobile website, it's going to have like this little menu down here. Um, I'm not talking about that menu right there. I'm talking about uh, the menu uh, alongside here. What you're going to do is you're going to choose that bottom right one, maintenance. Uh, if I can load mine up quickly enough. <laughs> um, yeah, you're going to hit maintenance. Or I'm going to try to hit maintenance, hopefully whenever it loads up really, really quickly. But uh, basically, long story short, what you're going to be doing is you're going to hop on a little section called uh, firewall. And then you're going to be... Um, you're gonna be tapping on firewall, and on the mobile version, I'm not sure about the website version. I'm sure the website version you can just turn off the. I'm sure on the website version you can just turn off the uh, the firewall completely, but on the modem, I mean uh, on the mobile uh, website, you're only allowed to move it from uh, from high or moderate or medium, like whatever it's set to. Set that firewall to low, and whenever you set that to low, it's gonna uh, it's gonna put put less restrictions on your ports and allow the ports to flow through easily to the internet and like allow outside uh, stuff to happen. Like whenever you do lower your file your firewall, the main risk that you're taking is um, from people DDoSing you and DOSing you and like hit, like hitting you offline on calls or booting you offline like OLTs and wagers and shit like that, competitive, whatever. Um, but like I said, like like whenever you turn that firewall to low and if you're on the website, you can turn it to off, I think. But put it to low, and that should open up your NAT type. And after that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna hit back on the maintenance tab, and then you are gonna hit uh, reboot. I think it's gonna say reboot. You're gonna tap reboot, 
and then you're gonna you know do that soft reboot that it's gonna you know reset your internet your internet's gonna turn off don't worry it should come back on after like 30 30 plus seconds or so on and so forth it comes back on restart your ps4 open that ps4 back up and it should be on open if it's not on open i don't know what to tell you guys i you know like i said i'm not an expert on this stuff i just thought i would make this video to help you guys out i apologize if i wasted your time by watching this video i'm trust me i was, I was in your same boat but hopefully if you are a zyxel modem or a zyxel router customer hopefully turning that firewall down to low or turning turning it to off will um help out as far as your nat type goes and uh, thank you guys for watching today. This is Colby the Bone Crusher. You guys have any comments or concerns, and, and if I left anything out, please leave it in the comments, and I will help you out, guys out the best way I can. Peace out.